world. I'm back with the second part of New Horizons. If you watched the first part, uh, you saw me put in the horizon line there. Lovely straight line that is. Um, and I'm thinking about doing a flip cup. I'm doing a voice over because it's just impractical to speak on camera at the moment as I paint in my kitchen. Now, uh, this was a few weeks ago, so I'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying to remember what I did and forgive me. Um, I'm going on a holiday in a couple of weeks and I'm trying to record videos so that there is no gaps on YouTube but with all the best will in the world I don't think that's going to happen. Anyway I'm going to do a flip cup here for the sky and I use Payne's Grey and I use uh, the same colour as I've got for the ski, sea there, that phthalo blue, uh, slightly lighter because I want the colours to reflect in the sky. And I also use some silky emulsion house paint. Now because I want the colours to blend um, into the brushwork there, I've actually got the same colour there mixed up as, or similar, mixed up as um, the base there so just literally just blending it in with a brush obviously that's work that has to be done when it's dry but the more you can do when it's wet the better and don't forget this is all just a bit of an experiment so flip cup here we go um, I probably have way too much paint I use three. Oh, I did use three. Splurger. So the aim is a stormy sky, which will be reflected hopefully in the water. And I don't want it. To <laughs> I don't want it to come any lower than that one. But the Payne's grey is lovely, actually. And the green as well, the phthalo, well, phthalo tur turquoise it is. So I am just going to speed the video up and um, you can just watch and I will interject as and when. Let's leave the past behind Walk with me There's something else we need to find Say you'll go, don't make me wait Okay, so this is the next day. Um, I'm <laughs> I, I love what's going on here. It's not quite dried as I expected with the house paint. I'm not quite sure about this bit here. And I made a mistake there. You know, when you cover your edges, I just came in a bit too far, but I have a plan. <laughs> I love this and how it lends itself to a mountain range. So I, I know that I'm put, putting this canvas um, on the easel afterwards to finish off, but that's the whole point. Um, this is where I want to push my art. And I have a loose plan for the sea and the land down here, but it's got to be all cohesive. So I'm a little bit worried that that all blends in, but I'm a little bit worried that this is just going to stand out too much, but we'll see see how it goes so those are going to be my two cups and i'm going to do a ribbon pour goes there and this is my base table paint left over from a couple of weeks ago put some gloves on um so the colors that i've chosen for my c i'll list them in the description are all colors that complement that all go with 
this base colour. So we'll see how it goes. It's quite nice um, doing the painting over a couple of days. The beauty of doing the horizon line is I can walk away and do the base the next day. So my base coat is very much thinner than my colours. Um, I think it, your base coat needs to be thinner because you end up tilting it for absolutely ages, or I do. <laughs> Must try not drip anything on that top. It's going to be hard. So what needs to happen when this is dry is that the two different styles are blended together. This is a homemade sappy green. Um, quite sure which one this one is. Lovely pale, pearlescent green. I think I'm going to leave that. Whoops. Might need some more white through that, I will see. Land. I've got so many cups of paint here. Oh, it's got a bit of blue in it. <laughs> when I say land, I'm, I'm aiming for rocks, actually. A rocky effect. Whether I get that or not, I don't know. We'll see. That's quite a dark Van Dyke brown with black. A little bit of black mixed in. Okay.
I did play around quite a while till I was happy. I wanted to create some depth and movement. So we've got the big things happening in the foreground and as you go through to the horizon, you've got the smaller things happening. So what I'm gonna be doing when this is dry is working on blending these areas together and creating some surf. So it's not so busy. This is very busy at the moment um, and it, it's gotta to come together and be quite cohesive is that the right word to use i don't know so let's try results what am i going to do with this painting it's not quite there yet i've got to work on several several areas of the sky these white dots this area here I'm not quite sure what i'm going to do about that I don't really like this bit, but I think I'm going to leave it. Um, I'm going to work on blending. There's some foreground mountains there, some background mountains that need blending into one another. The sky needs softening because you never get hard lines in the distance. Then just blending the horizon line into the sea. And then there's a couple of focal points that I want to work on. This one here, this will be a smaller crest of a wave, and this one here will be a bigger one. Don't really like this bit here, but I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do about that bit yet. So I really thought I pressed record, and I hadn't when I was working on that sky the second time round. Um, so just I haven't worked on below the horizon line yet, but I have worked on blending the sky together um i did i did work on this area here probably could do a little bit more blending in but i love using big fat brushes let me have a show you i love using big fat brushes and you i love seeing the brush strokes and i love the freedom that that gives um So I 
have found that I don't really like the camera recording when I'm using working at the easel and you can see that I just maybe I pushed this too far but you can see the bottom uh, left hand corner it had to go I didn't like it and at the end of the day you're the one that's going to be happy with the painting um, and this was an experiment it all needs simplifying moving forward which is what I'm going to do um, but you can see there that I really tried to combine fluid art and acrylic painting. You can see the, the brush strokes, which is, as I mentioned before, I really like it. So I hope this is the first of many. And thank you for watching.